welcome to my Thursday Live. I'm so glad you're here. If you are a new customer, we're super excited to have you here for the first time. Okay, so first things first, we are trying to have more presence on YouTube. So pretty please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notifications of when we come on. And also don't forget that we always give away prizes. So make sure you share and you comment. And at the end, we will have a call to action for next week's prizes. So make sure you do that too. All right. So whether or not you're a football fan, everybody knows the Super Bowl is coming. And so we are going to do game day makeup. Now, whether or not you're into football, we could do any kind of game day makeup. I, not that I'm not a fan of the Rams or the Bengals. It's not that. It's just that they're not my team, right? And so it's like, I don't know whose makeup to do. And so I thought, I'm going to mix them together. So this is game day makeup for those of you who don't have a favorite, but you really just want to enjoy the Super Bowl. All right. So what we're going to do is a look that incorporates all of their colors. Let me tell you, it wasn't the easiest thing to find a look that made sense with gold, blue, orange, and black, but I did it. All right. So Eddie, show them the look. Here we go. We're doing this. Isn't this great? It actually looks good together. Who would have thought? Um, I was really surprised. So we are going to use some of our, all, all of our beautiful colors and we're going to do that exact look, except for we're going to add a little bit of bling to the lashes with our cupcake stackers and our lash bling. All right, so let's get started. I also just have foundation on, obviously. So let's start out. First, we're going to do some contour and some blush and then we're going to get into the eyes. All right, so I did not want to miss doing my contour with you guys because we have a brand new invention. It's only been out like what a week and I want to make sure I use it a lot with you guys so that we all get used to using it. So this is our perfect contour sponge and it is super, super easy. It literally just stamps on your contour where you want it. So I have last week we launched 165. It's a bronzer and a contour and you can also just use it as a color if that's your color of powder. And so I'm going to use that this week and I love this color. Like I love it so much. Every time I wear it, I'm like, yeah, this is the bronzer of all bronzers. So I've got my palette. Here we go. This is 165. It is a little warmer color. It's never going to make you look yellow or orange or anything. All right. So what we do is we really just go like that. Can you guys see that? There we go. Like that. And just swipe it in there. See? Super easy. All right. So we're going to do Everybody's a different face shape. Don't worry. We have guides backstage, so I'm going to do mine, but look backstage for your guides. Or if you're a customer, talk to your affiliate and they will get your shape for you to show you the pattern you should use. But for me, I am going to just stamp. Look how easy that was. And stamp under here. So easy. Get a little bit more in there. I'm going to do. So I have, I have what I call a five head instead of a four head. So I want to have my forehead a little bit shorter, which means I want it darker towards the top. So I'm doing the bigger side at the top. There we go. And down towards there. There we go. And then I'm going to take what's left on here and I'm going to do the side of my nose on this side. I've got two mirrors going, so I'm like backwards. All right, here we go. And right down like that. And it doesn't have to be super dark because you really don't want your nose to look like crazy dark. All right, then we're going to flip our sponge other side and do the same thing. I'm just going to pull this out. All right, there we go. That's a little bit easier. I was just telling V, I need a much taller table so I'm not like constantly having a waddle. Waddles aren't very attractive. Okay, there we go. One, Two, just form it to the shape of your jaw. I don't even know if I need any more on here. Three, do the little white, nope. And four, boom. Okay, now then for highlight, we use this little side right here, right? So I'm going to use, oh, there we go. Oh, there it is, Jeez. my 110. It was right in front of me where I couldn't see it. There's my 110. So I'm gonna do down the middle of my nose Boom. And then I'll take the other inside the triangle. A little swoop. There you go. Like that. Turn it upside down. Boom. 
boom, boom, and one right in the middle of my forehead. Like this. Now again, don't worry, we have a guide for you. This is my face, but you have your own face, don't worry. And if it's not perfect, like I had this little dent right here, you can go back and do more if you want to, but it's fine, you're gonna blend it. All right, put that guy down. I'm gonna grab our blending brush, bam. I like to do the dark, then the light. You can do whatever you like better. So I'm going to do this little area here. And all you do is just go in circles. Into my hairline. Make sure you get a little on your ear so you don't have a weird light spot there. Circles, you guys, it's so easy. And this cleans up really well with the brushy cleany. I'll show you in a sec. Just little circles so it's all nice and blended. Do not forget under your chin here, your jawline. I have done that so many times over the years. I don't know why. I think it's just because you don't see it. It's directly in the mirror. And so I've missed that like a bunch of times. All right, here we go. I'm do chin, under eyes, here. And then I do my nose all at once because I just feel like I need to. And then normally you go in circles when you're blending, but noses are kind of small and I'm using a large blender. So I'm actually going to go kind of up and down so I don't connect the two too much. There we go. Yay! I feel much healthier now. All right, then you can actually use this for your blush too, if you would like to. So here is our, this is the brushy clean that comes in our palette. You can use this one. You just wipe it like this or... We have the one that comes by itself. Same thing. So just do each side. Cleans it all off. And then same thing, take one of your blushes. Let's see here. I'm going to go with Himalayan Salt, one of my all-time favorites. Boom. Same deal. We're just going to go like that through it. Bam. And we're going to go right on top of our cheekbone instead of under it because we want to bring some color in. We're not creating definition. Oops, I just did it upside down. This will work. There we go. Like that, and then we're going to blend that too. Same brush. Use your brushy cleaning. There we go. Little color in there. And then if you want to, you can even go one level higher, same tool, and do a highlight. I'm not going to do that yet, though. I'm going to do my other makeup first, and then we're going to add some fun gold. All right, here we go. Let's get into our game day look. All right, Eddie, put up the lower third so we can see what we're doing. All right, Bengals and Rams. Here we go. Do you like my, my little guys there? I thought they were super fun. Oh, wait, I got some stuff on my neck. I'll just get it up. All better. Okay, put that away. First, we're going to start, how do I want to start? I'm going to start with the outer edge and move in, I think. I have not done this before. I never do it before because I want to do it with you guys so we can figure it out together. So we're going to start with the dark. I usually start, go dark to light, all right? So we are going to use the black, there you go, out of our 24K palette. This is legitimately the blackest black I've ever seen in my life. So when you use this black, make sure you blow it a little bit or it's gonna get everywhere. Okay, so we have our larger angle brush for eyeshadow and our black. I'm gonna go in here. You know, have you guys ever watched a, like a professional do drywall or anything? And they don't, they don't use a little bit. You know what I mean? They just slap it on there and, flat, and it's like, oh, it's perfect, right? Eyeshadow is kind of the same way. If you use the tiniest little amount over and over and over again, you just end up with a bunch of kind of blotchiness. You have to be a little bit brave. I mean, don't go crazy, but you have to be a little brave. So we're going to actually get some black on there. Give it a blow. Make sure there's nothing that's too uh, dusty. And then here we go. All right, you ready? So let me, let me look at her again. Okay, yeah, so she's got just a really solid black here. Boom, that's black. Like it. The other one. See how pigmented this is? I did not change anything about my brush or anything else. Very important to note. All right, so I'm going to wipe this guy off, put him back. And then we're going to go into, I like to use my blending brush 
for that really smoky under eye look. And that is a dark one that she's got going on there. We may not go quite that extreme, but, and I like to roll it like this and blow. I can't, I'm used to my mirror being down here and I keep looking down and it's not there because I moved it up because I thought it'd be easier and now it's confusing me. It's fine, I'll get it. All right, here we go. And just very, very gently, because this is very black. I think if I were, where is one of those little things? Oh, here's one. I think if I were doing this like in real life in my bathroom and I was about to go out, I'd probably use a little cover like this under it too, just for good measure. We can just tidy it up after, but I'm just saying those were a great idea. If you're going to do something with this much dark under your eyes, it is not a bad idea. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this out a little bit here while I've got this in my hand. I'll give it a triangular shape. Boom. All right, next. Our next darkest color is definitely our dark blue. So we are going to use the blue out of our Northern Lights palette. Boom. Such a pretty blue. And we're going to do right in the middle here. All right, so, oh, that's the wrong brush. I mean, here's the thing. Use whatever brush you want to use. Whatever works is fine, but I'm going for our more of an accent brush just so I have a little bit more control over it. All right, and I like to brush with my brushy, cleany thingy between just about every swipe, so I just think it keeps everything nice and tidy. All right, so we're just going to do basically a stripe right along that. We'll blend it later, don't worry. Nice stripe. And we're tapping. When you tap, it really places the makeup. And when you when you don't tap, it thins it out. And we're, we want it to be really nice and pigmented. All right, so here we go. Some makeup on there. And we're tapping. See how that's tapping? There we go. A little bit more. Now, I don't have any primer or anything on except for my just my normal everyday um, foundation or ascend no element element foundation right so this is actually like really effective now we're going to go just a little bit in from this to highlight our brow ridge here we go And that's really important, you guys. If you have hooded eyes, you see how, this eye, you see how you can see the hood of my eye and then you see the eyeshadow above it? You want that eyeshadow to be at the same level to give the illusion of more of a hood. So we're gonna bring that up, or less of a hood, I'm sorry, more of an eyelid. There, see, that evens that right out. We're gonna do the same on the other side. There we go. Perfect. All right, now then, it's not perfect. We're gonna blend. Okay. Get this guy cleaned off. So now we are going to go into our lighter colors. First, we're gonna go into our orange and we're gonna get into our sunrise palette. We're gonna get the orange and the yellow and some gold. Aren't these great colors? I love this palette. So first we'll do the orange. So we'll get this little guy back out. Go into our orange, same thing. We're just going to place it on there, patting. <sighs> I have a little bit of blue under here. Let's get that off. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna pat this right over that edge. And again, we're going to blend lighter. No worries. Who would have thought that this, these colors would be good together, right? And I think we'll go out just a little bit more. There we go. Other side. Lots of padding. Pat, pat, pat. There we go. That. Okay. I'm going to, where to go? Here it is. It's clean. Okay. Now we're going to add a little bit of concealer because we really want this area to have a very bright yellow. So I'm taking my concealer and I'm taking a little foundation brush, a small one, and I'm just gonna dab that on there. Put the lid back on, theoretically. 
There we go. Okay. Move that out of it. We don't need a ton. We have very, very pigmented concealer. We just want to have enough. I'm going to just put a dot on either side, then work it around. And again, I'm not swiping and mixing it with the blue. I'm just patting it. Pat, pat, pat. Just to give a nice spot. that um that pretty yellow and gold to go there we go all right and same thing clean that off okay back to our small brush first we're going to go into the yellow in here and little trick if you don't wait for your concealer to set all the way it will pick up more yellow so it's not a bad thing not to wait okay so get yellow on here just touch, 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 touch. This is the base for our gold. There we go. Touch, 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 touch. You're just above the crease. Like that. All right, then we have the same gold right here. Wash this guy off a little bit. We're going to go into this gold. And we're going to put some 24K over this whole thing. So oftentimes I do this instead of um, blowing on it. It does the same thing. Just kind of hits it against my finger. I played drums in high school, and I think I got it from that. There we go. It's a weird habit, I know. Just touching. Touch, touch, touch. But it does work. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It, I also played French horn, you guys. It was absurd. So I actually missed... The day they picked the band instruments and I got what was left in, what was it? Had them in fifth or sixth grade. And so I had to play French horn for like two years and I was so bad at it. Like so bad. I, I would basically just play the same note all the time at the speed of everyone else. It was awful. I was absurdly terrible at French horn. Just awful. Okay, I'm going to wipe this guy off and we're going to go back into our sunrise palette a nice white color here for some blending. We're going to do this right under, same brush, right under our brow ridge. Right there. But don't worry, we're going to blend all this together in a minute. We're just putting on the base. There we go. A little bit down here. And right in this inner corner. Okay, now we're going to grab our blending brush. Voila, very clean, very important. And now we're gonna do the dark first. So first we're gonna do the blue and the black, blend those together a little bit. There we go, wipe, definitely wiping. Do the blue to the orange, the blue and black to the orange. This is a harder part to blend and you're probably gonna have to go black back into our orange and it's a real possibility we'll have to add a little bit more orange on there and blend it in just, just to keep that color orange. Because the black is going to want to blend in and kind of take over. So we'll probably have to go over it just a little bit more. There we go, this side. And that happens a lot when you're, when you're doing darks and lights right next to each other. Oftentimes you have to kind of blend them together and then just keep adding a bit more of the light just to get it back there. Okay, so we'll go back into our orange a little bit. I and mean, it's not bad. I mean, I can still definitely see it, but I'm going to do it right on my blending brush. And just do some little circles right at that, at, right where one meets the other. So make sure you keep wiping it off, because if you don't, you're just basically using the same color over and over and over again, making mud. We don't want to make mud. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do the yellow and the blue. This is one of the spots you need to be kind of careful because we're not going for green, right? So just get them to overlap each other, but don't try to create a green in the middle, right? It's going to do it a little bit by nature, but not too much. And then when we put on our gold from our 24K palette, that's actually really going to help that too. That Help that transition a bit. Here we go. 
So you guys, this is not so hard, right? This isn't too terrible hard of a look, especially considering these colors. Because I was like, how on earth am I going to make these two teams work in a makeup look? It's actually not that bad. I was shocked. All right. Now we're going to go into our 24K palette, into our big gold that does all the things. And I can, it doesn't matter what brush you use for this. Honestly, I'm going to stick with my blending brush. As long as it fits on your eyebrow, it's great. And I'm going to put a bunch of gold on here. And then I'm just going to pat that on because we really want that shimmer where this gold is. All the way into the corner. That. There we go. Get a little overlap. We can always go back and adjust a bit. Neat. And then just very gently smoosh it out a little. Smoosh is a technical term. It means mush and rub like that. I don't know any other way to say that other than, I guess, push and very lightly kind of flick. I know I'm wishing you guys not to flick, but this is the time. Go ahead. All right. A lot of gold. All the gold. There we go. I like it. And we're also going to take one of our blush brushes and just give that a good little put it right on the top of our cheek. Get a little, little fun light there. There we go. A little shimmer. All right. Now then, eyeliner. First, we're going to go with the works. Use black. Open this guy up. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, so where is my works brush? Works brush comes with it. All right. Now we're going to do our waterline and our tight line and all the way across the top. I'm going to do across the top first because you, you can see she's got her eyeliner goes all the way around, right? So I think the hardest part is the very inner corner of your eye. So I like to start there. Just kind of get it done. There we go. And if it's hard, you don't have to try to draw a line. Just do little like dot, 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 dot. That's what I usually do, especially in this inner corner. It's just a dot, 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 dot. We can smooth it out in a minute. And if you have some creepy skin there like I do, because I will be 50 next year, that's fine. Just very gently give a little pull to kind of get that, those little wrinkles out while you're putting your makeup on. There you go. And just do a little at a time. You don't have to try to do the whole thing at once. You don't have to use a lot at once. People are, at this point, they're like, okay, I got it. And then they'll put on their eyeliner like, uh-oh. You don't have to go crazy. Lord knows I've done that a million times. Okay, so I like to do the, out, I like to do the edges from the outside in. So well, I guess from the edge towards the middle. So start edge, middle, and then start edge, middle. Here we go. It's easier to control towards the middle. I do not know why. Maybe it's just me. I feel like my eye is more sensitive if I go the other direction. Like if I try to come from here down, it makes me want to blink. So if I go from the outside, it's just more natural feeling. There we go. The other one. Boom. To make them about the same width. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do our crazy line. That's our tight line. So that is underneath, just barely underneath your lashes. See how I look crazy? That's why I call it the crazy line. Crazy. And if you're the kind of person, or not the kind of person, but if you're somebody who has um, a little bit of the white that shows all the time, you will notice in pictures that it, it does. It makes you look a little like... And this is how you fix it. You just put a little bit of makeup on that tight line. There we go. This always makes me blink, so I, I just do a couple swaths, swaths, and then swaths is a fun word, swaths. It's kind of like sloths. There we go. And now I'm going to do my tight line on the bottom. I've just caught your wine. 
And this same thing, this can be really hard to do with a lot of different brands of cosmetics. The works does this very easily um, because it's waterproof and smudge proof, but make sure you use something waterproof and smudge proof if you're not using the works because otherwise it's just gonna run down your face. They call it a waterline for a reason. There we go. And now I'm gonna go all the way into this corner you see how my eye has like this little bump? I mean, it's not a bump, it's normal, but you know how all eyes have that little bump right there? You want to straighten that out. So, there we go. And that's one of the things that really makes an eye look more almond, is to make that straighter. And then make sure this all goes all the way down to it to look like hers. There we go. And we'll do the other one. It makes such a huge difference. When you're you know, trying to do a certain look, if you don't get that little spot, it just won't match. There we go. And even this guy out here, and we can always put a little bit more gold there if we need to. Well, I don't think we need to. That pretty close. All right. Where'd the lid do? There it is. I'm like there's a lid here somewhere. Okay, clean this guy off. Very important. Okay, now we are going to do a coat of. I'm going to use our gold liner. So we're going to use do a coat of our gold liner, and then I'm going to do some mascara and another coat of the gold liner to get ready for our lashes. Now she has regular lashes on, um, as in they're not fancy, or than normal false eyelashes. I'm not going to. She has fake bottoms on too, and I'm not going to do that. But after this, we'll just put on mascara. So guess what, you guys? This is probably not on my list for right now, but I have to tell you because um, I'm going to use it in a sec. So our Siren Mascara has finally come back in. Yay! And I made a couple of little changes to it that I think you guys are going to love. It is a little bit moister when you put it on. It is blacker. Yay. And it has slightly longer fibers. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to put that on just a second after I get this on. So we've been, I don't know. Do you know, V, how many months we've been waiting for, for the new formulation to come in? Probably at least six. It, probably at least six, she says. And I, that, I feel, feel that feels right to me, too. It's been a while. All right, so we'll let that sit for a sec. Look. New Siren Mascara, you guys, I'm so excited. So it has new packaging. So this is kind of temporary new packaging because I was like, I cannot wait anymore for you guys to make this packaging. And this is what was available now. And so we did this now. It will be ever so slightly different when we get the next batch in. We don't have a ton of this batch. Um, there's only about a thousand. So if you would like Siren, you should probably get it right now. It's going to take another couple months, but at least it's all formulated now and it'll be quicker than it was before. But still, um, it is... I love Siren. It just, my favorite thing about it is that not only does it, you know, it works great, it lengthens, it lengthens, it thickens, but my favorite thing about it is it does not flake. I hate flaky mascara. And so if you're doing it under your lashes, you don't need a ton, of course, but my bottom lashes won't have any different lashes on them. So there we go. Do you guys feel like you have to make a face? Some weird face like that? I do. There, 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 that's the face. It's not attractive. That's my mascara face. It's very unattractive. It's fine. Nobody sees it but Bob, and he doesn't even see it that often. Okay. I don't know why. I guess it does. It does move a little bit. See? It does move my face. A little right there. Worth it. I think. All right, so we're gonna do a couple coats of this so we can build these lower lashes out a bit. So the nice thing about fiber mascara is as you're putting it on, it's attaching the fiber, like kind of glue, to the lashes that you already have on. And it's making, it's basically giving you like almost an extra set of lashes in there. It adds a lot of length, a lot of width. It's awesome. All right, there we go. And I do like a, this thing. It's like this and down. That and down. That way it gets, gets right on there. And then it pulls that little fiber down to be a nice shape. There we go. All right. One more coat. 
of our gold liner. And then we will trim our lash. Go a little high there. It's all right. Just fake it. I can always fix it later. Or it's not going to show anyway, really, once I have lashes on. I think this is going to be a much more fun look with the gold liner than, or not the gold liner, but with the um, the gold lashes, the cupcake lashes, mm -hmm. because it just adds so much more, you know, dimension. Plus, it has those lashes have like every they're they're AB Aurora Borealis, and so they have like every color in them. And so they go with all the teams. All right, so while that dries, let's grab my cupcakes. Where they here? They are. These are my cupcake stackers. These are our first ever stackers. Open these guys. Where's the scissor? Scissors. And we'll trim them. I always trim two off. You guys, all of our lashes are totally trimmable. And the ones that are the same length, front and back, if you want, you can also, um, you can just cut them right in half and make them like edge lashes too. These, however, are cat eyes. So our cat eyes. So if you want to keep them long and it's a cat eye, you cut it from the inside. If you want to shorten them up a little bit, you cut them from the outside. It's a pretty dramatic look I've got going here. So I'm going to cut mine from the inside and keep the drama and the length. But you see how these, like, they've got yellow in them. They have orange in them. They have some blue in them. So they're like a really, they just kind of cover all the bases for this particular project we're doing here. I'm going to cut two magnets off. I always do two. Apparently my eyes are a size eight. <laughs> I'm a size eight magnet. I heard somebody say that and I was like, oh, yes, that's awesome. And so when, when your lashes are brand new, you guys, it's good to bend them between the magnets so that they're nice and flexible and comfortable. Put this guy on this side. Oops. I have one little hair that it's, I didn't cut and it's sticking down. Funny. I'm blind. I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see what I was doing. I think I got it now. And then I look in the um, magnified mirror. Ooh, there you go. And I'm like, oh, I see it. I see where I've made mistakes. One. See how much fun that is? Don't you think? Okay, uh, they're lash shares. As per usual, I've got stuff everywhere. If you guys could see the table, you'd be like, oh, that's a mess. Okay. Another lash inside. And in. Go. I am so ready for the Super Bowl. Bring on the wings. What's your favorite Super Bowl food? Uh, nachos. Nachos? Nachos, huh? That's awesome. Anything with cheese. Anything with cheese? <laughs> I do love cheese. I like anything with dip. Oh, you know what I almost never eat, but I love that I always have at the Super Bowl is um, just, I know this is really basic, but onion dip and like ridged Potato chips. Potatoes. Yeah, and I never eat that normally, but it's like my favorite, like serious, like it is the Super Bowl and I'm eating it no matter what. All right, so let's put on a little bling. So I got, I have gold and orange because I figured that represented the yellow of one team and the orange of the other. And the gold is fun. It's, cut, it's a yellowy gold. All right, so let's, oh, like that. Where is my, there it is, my applicator. So I'm going to take... These little guys, and of course, you know, they just, you basically just sit them there and they do what they're supposed to do. Handy little guys. Aren't they fun? And then let's throw it. You could do all the way across too. I'm just not going to because you guys don't want to sit here and watch me do it forever. Second one. There we go. I feel super game day. All right, so I do feel like I want to, where is my sunburst palette? I do want to take my white and blend in the top a little bit with my orange. I'm gonna take this, give it a good wipe. God knows what I used it on last. That's like the worst. Have you guys done that where you're like, oh, I just dipped something that I probably dipped in black a minute ago and now it's a hot mess. You don't wanna do that. Like that. This guy up in here a little bit more. I might even go back with a little of the orange just to make sure just have a nice blend. I feel like the orange is important. It's easy to lose because orange is kind of skin color-y. We don't want to lose our orange. What do you think, V? Is it even? How do I look? It's good. Okay. 
We did it. Oh, I need Ignite. I always need Ignite. Someone asked if you're wearing a lash under the stacker. I am not. You know, the Cupcake Stacker has, it's a thicker stacker and it has quite a lot of actual lash in it. So I just wear them by themselves usually, but you can. You're, you know, stack them up if you want. When we very first, that was our very first stacker ever. And uh, so we made it a bit more of a transitional lash. All right, I think, I think it's good. I don't think I'm missing anything. Did I forget anything? Nope. Well, that was not bad. That wasn't bad at all. Yay, I am Super Bowl ready. All right, you guys, let me grab my notes here. Find out what we have going on. Oh, so let's do some product reminders. Let me take that down too. Don't need to look at that. Okay, so don't forget, all of our Elements products are 25% off all month. And our Lash of the Month is Love Spell, which is $10 off the bundle price, which makes it like a huge discount. Was that about 60% off? Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge discount. And then we also have our Flutter Magnetic Lashes, which are, I love this lash, by the way. Like, this is such a great lash. It's very Hollywoody. It's not too thick. It's like all the things. So we have our flutter, and that is our, oh, that came out of our um, makeup our fix. makeup fix. So those are just available for the month. And we also, from our makeup fix, have our delicate pressed powder. And then, so that's new. Oh, let me tell you guys something real quick. So um, Denise, she has been my friend for like ever, and she works for us. And um, her and I did pageants together, and we were both really into crafting and making things and like, you know, the t-shirts and the rhinestones. So we do that together and um, then send stuff to tie and design things. And so we have been designing some more swag for the boxes, the makeup fix boxes that go out every month. And so in the upcoming months, there's going to be some more one-time swag that will come out in the boxes like pins and bracelets and necklaces and charms and holders and all the things. Um, anyway, you cannot, you will not be able to buy those otherwise. It's the only, only place they will be. So if you love the swag, make sure that you have your makeup fix box. Just mention that we had a lot of fun today ordering things. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have our recognition charms and bracelets. So that is for our affiliates and um, that's for their mentors to recognize them. They can order these for recognition. So we are going to have, we used to do a month at a time, but we're like, why? Why are we doing that? So in March, we're going to load up March and every other month too. So come March, we'll have all of those ready. Ooh, winners. Okay, we have some winners, you guys. And here are our winners for this week. Charlotte Robinson. Lindsay Gunderson. Christine Meyer. And here's our affiliate live winner. Carly Van Meter. Remember to watch us and comment on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, we're back, but we have a few more winners. We also have our Opportunity Zoom winners. So we have an Opportunity Zoom, what's it, monthly, right? Mm -hmm. Every month. And that's for people who are interested in becoming affiliates to so just go on and hear what we do. And we do that via Zoom, which is hence the name Opportunity Zoom, right? And they are... Kemi Popola, who won $100 cash, Jasmine Diamond, and Anna Bradshaw. And the other two, and all of our weekly giveaway winners, also won a Flutter Bundle. Oh, that's my, that's the last I was just telling you how much I like. You guys won a Flutter Bundle with Black Liner. So congratulations. Keep going. And definitely share and comment, because that's how they won. And also, we will have our call to action at the end. All righty. Oh, so Bob, um, for those you don't know, Bob is my co-founder. He's also my husband. And he does all of our technical stuff. And he is the king of all data. And so he thought it would be fun for you guys to know some of our affiliates who skipped more than one rank last month. So we have, now mind you, this wasn't just one rank. These people skipped over ranks. It doesn't say how many, but more than one. So we have Tina Armenti, Tara Watercott, Minerva Perel, Charmaine Pash, Tracy Dunkerton, Brenda Roche. Oh man, I was doing good until this one. Dallas, 
Gendermange, Gendermange, I'm sorry Dallas if I killed your name, Stacy Wellborn, Chloe Robichaud, Raquel Lamb, and Carla Newton. Congratulations you guys, you are killing it. So great job, super, super proud of you and I am excited that we got to do that. Hey, do you have a picture for Black History Month, Eddie? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So this month is Black History Month. I didn't know if we had a picture of this amazing person, but we do. Eddie will show you, and I'm going to tell you about him. So this is George Washington Carver. Tori Bell likes to spotlight the, contrib the contributions of influential Black Americans all the time, but particularly during Black History Month. And this week, we chose George Washington Carver. He was born in 1861 near Diamond Grove, Missouri, and he died in 1943 in Tuskegee, Alabama, and he was an agricultural revolutionary. He was um, born onto the Moses Carver Plantation around the time of the abolition of slavery when he was five years old, and he was no longer an enslaved child. He left the Carver Plantation when he was around 10 and supported himself and steadily pursued an education that would allow him to nurture his love for plants and animals. He met a big goal, eventually earning a bachelor's degree in agricultural science and a master's of science degree at Iowa State University, heading up the Tuskegee University Department of Agriculture. Can I just remind you, he was a slave child. Like, this is amazing. He, alongside school founder and president Booker T. Washington, aimed to improve the lives of black Americans through education and economic development. Not only did he popularize peanut butter, thank you, Mr. Carver, but as an agricultural chemist, he began conducting experiments in creating 518 new products from sweet potatoes and peanut crops, and they include ink, dye, soap, flour, vinegar, synthetic rubber, and cosmetics. Whether we're enjoying a peanut butter sandwich or applying shaving cream or using our Tory Bell cosmetics, we can smile about George Washington Carver. I bet you guys had no idea that he was somebody who was actually integral in the development of cosmetics. So I thought that was really, really cool for Black History Month. So thank you so much, Mr. Carver. So other great, amazing things that we get to do in this world of cosmetics is support cheerleaders. They are athletes, and don't argue with me about it, they are. I always tell people, other athletes, when they make fun of us, or made fun of us, you throw balls, we throw people, don't even. And that is true. They are very serious athletes. And that is why we support the USASF, which is all-star cheerleading. And we are working on a $10,000 scholarship fund for the USASF. And we're also working with some other organizations that benefit kids and women and girls and boys. And so we're really excited that we have that for them. And um, we're just really, really happy that we get to contribute to their mission and that they wanted to partner with us. So that was cool. We also have our On Your Mark to Personal Development series um, by Kathy Allen. And that is a 10-week personal development course you can take. You don't have to do it all at once. It's ongoing. So you can, you know, if you, as long as you get the 10 courses in, you'll graduate and get your certificate. Um, it is a really great series. We have about 100 people a week on it. So you want to get in there while you can. And um, it is... 4 p.m. on Wednesdays, right? Yes, so 4 p.m. on Wednesdays, and that is a Zoom, and so you'll need to go in your backstage and sign up for it to make sure you get into a class, and it is a really popular, really fun, awesome class. It's a really, really, really educational. I loved it. I took the whole thing, and I really, I, I've said really 18,000 times in the last minute. Who the guest was this week? Oh, it was Christy Fromm. It, for, it go... Or it will be week. next week. Next week's guest is Christy from. I love Christy. She's probably one of the sweetest person I've ever met. So definitely go check that out. Okay. Terry Bell's got talent charity event. This is like all the fun stuff in a row. So that is Thursday, March 3rd, 2022, but it's not just the one day it's ongoing. So we will have, I'm just going to read it. So I don't mess it up. Let's see. So we are, well, I mean, I know this part, I don't have to read it. So the whole point of Troy Bell's Got Talent is that we are raising money to give grants to people in need. And every single dime we raise goes directly to people in need. And they aren't people we choose, they're people you nominate. That is very important because we're giving 100% of everything back to the people that you nominate. And you can win tons of awesome prizes. And I'm not going to read you all the prizes right now. Go check it out. There are thousands of dollars of amazing, amazing prizes. And 
If you're an affiliate, go make sure that you sign up. And if you're a customer, bug your affiliate to get an invitation. Eddie has a video for that. Oh, and Eddie has an amazing video. Come one, come all. Join us for one of the most exciting events of the year. TB's Got Talent. Showcasing all the many talented affiliates of Tory Bell Cosmetics. Winners will perform live at the Tory Bell Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thousands of dollars in prize giveaways presented by Tory Bell Cosmetics and Nauza. Watch us live on YouTube and Facebook on March 3rd, 2022. Isn't that so fun, you guys? We've had 25 entries and for the talent show portion of the charity event, and I cannot wait to judge them. And it's been killing me that I can't watch them yet because I'm a judge. So I have to wait and watch them and judge them. And I've heard so many things that people are like, oh, I was like, mm -mm. Zip it. don't tell me anything. I'm super, super, super excited. I hear that some, I mean, it's like America's Got Talent, right? Some are really funny. Some are super cringy. Some are really amazing. And I cannot wait. So we also have a behind the scenes. And if you want to see the behind the scenes a little bit, on Friday at 3 o'clock on the cosmetics page, this page here, you can pop in and watch a little five-minute behind the scenes every week. So that's super fun. All right. The swag item of the week. I have to stand up because we're kind of zoomed in here. All right. It is muscle shirt. Huh. There it is. I'm wearing the gray. Wait, let me do it again. There we go. Muscles, muscles, muscle shirt. <laughs> there you have it. I don't usually wear muscle shirts if I'm not working out. Of course, I wear them working out. And I was like, but this is the perfect day. Hmm? That's fine. This is the perfect day for muscle shirts because we did our football look. So Ty got this one right. Good job, Ty. Perfect. And they are only $18. So order a muscle shirt today. It's perfect for watching the Super Bowl. It's also perfect for anything you're doing outside. And it's actually getting, it's funny because we were like, oh, yeah, it's winter. But it's actually getting a lot warmer in most of the U.S., like, it was hot when I was in Texas and when I was in Tennessee and stuff. Well, actually, it was weird in Tennessee. It was like snowing, and then it was hot, and then it was snowing. It was, yeah, Tennessee weather's like, hold my beer. Tennessee. Right? So, what, do you, what do you mean I can't snow when it's 40 or 50 degrees? Yeah, I actually can. Oh, and those come in sizes extra small to 2X. Two, right? Yes, 2X. This is a medium, just so you know. And it fits like a normal medium. I wear a medium. Soft, like it's not, they are. Yeah. yeah, they are really soft. Yeah, they're not like the Hanes thick ones. Yeah. No, they're like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have our February hit and win. So our hit and win is when you reach this goal, you win something. You don't have to have any kind of a drawing or anything like that. So if you have, this is for affiliates, if you have $150 qualifying volume, you get a headband and a scrunchie. And if you have $250 qualifying volume, you also get 2,500 travel points towards our trip to Punta Cana, which is huge, huge. And you don't have to do 150 plus 250. When you hit 250, you get them both. So that is super fun. Everybody's been asking for that scrunchie and that headband. So that's how you get it. You don't have to buy it. Just you sell things to your it. customers and you just get it. So there you go. Awesome. Ooh, conference update. Okay, I'm so excited. This is kind of a big deal, you guys, though. So let, don't freak out. It's still in Vegas, and it's still on the same day. However, we have switched hotels, and that is because Mandalay Bay was too large for our group after we had quite a few people less than we expected due to COVID. Um, over the last year, since we, you know, we signed up with them a year ago, there's been Delta, and then there was Omicron, and then now there's Omicron Stealth, which doesn't seem so bad, but still it's here, right? And so we had about what we were expecting was to have about the same amount of people at conference this year, but all live. And um, that did not happen. We're probably going to have about the same amount, but it's going to be live and virtual again because people still can't all travel. And so we have moved conference to the Westgate Hotel, which used to be the Hilton Conference Center. It is beautiful. Um, I actually like this space a lot better, to be honest, because Mandalay Bay is huge. And as much as I like a huge entertainment center, there's, you know, not 5,000 of us. And so I think this will be, even though it's a big old ballroom and all the things and the restaurants and all that, it's still going to be more intimate for a group our size. So I'm very excited about it. They have been super kind. Um, it's really fun. You see the monorail here. So the monorail goes all over the strip. You can get on the link too, which takes you to the other parts. Um, 
We have the all the fun stuff. We have a huge pool. We'll have our party. Everything is the same. You're just about a mile from where you're expecting to be. Now, don't worry. Um, they are automatically move, not moving your reservations. They're automatically removing your reservation from Mandalay Bay. So if you already have your Mandalay Bay reservation, it will be removed. You don't have to call them and have them get rid of it. As long as they booked using as, the Yes, link. as long as you booked using our link, yeah. If you didn't book using the link, then yes, you will need to call them. Um, we have amazing room rates. It's actually going to save us quite a bit of money, all of us individually. So it's only $69 a night for the first couple nights. And then the last night, if you stay over, you know, past conference is $119. So it's substantially less expensive than it was for everybody. Very excited about that. Um, we have, let's see, what else, what am I missing? I know I'm missing things. What else is different? Oh, there's, there's tons of restaurants um, inside both, you know, all different levels. And they agreed to open the buffet for us, which is great. Because if you want food and you want it quickly, the buffet is the place to go. Is and so us trying to figure out yes, what you want to eat? Right, right. Stuff. We don't have to figure out what you want to eat. We don't need to know about what your special food preferences are or anything of the sort. You can just go and eat what you want to eat. So we're excited about that. That's super nice of them. That was, we were really excited about that um, at our last couple, uh, our last, was it both or just one? Did we have um, the last two incentive trips? Did we have buffet or was it just the just, one? Uh, Cancun. Just Cancun. But it was, I mean, it, it was you, nice. there was no buffets at all anywhere then. So we were happy to have the buffet and it really is handy with big groups. So that's exciting. Also, just today, Las Vegas removed their mask mandate. Of course, you are welcome to wear a mask if it makes you more comfortable, but you do not have to. And so that is something we are excited about. To be able to be a little freer, we are having our main party outdoors. It's beautiful in Las Vegas in April and late April. Um, so the weather is just, you know, it's not guaranteed to be perfect. If it's terrible, we'll move inside. But it is most likely going to be perfect. And it does give us a little bit more air to breathe. And we have a really big ballroom. Make sure we all have enough space. So it's going to be awesome. And we should have the booking link posted tomorrow for that. Yes. Yeah. The booking link for the new hotel will be posted tomorrow. And we will send out an email to everybody to make sure you know. If you're already registered, um, we will send that out. We will be adding a virtual component. And the virtual component will go out next week. So don't worry if you don't see it's not there right yet. But next week after my live, then we'll have it backstage for you guys. So I'm excited about that. It will be live streamed. It will be very similar to last year. And um, it'll be one one live stream per code is the way it works. And so if you purchase it, you can watch it, but it will only work on one device. So like if you had it on, it's just like on an airplane, right? If you turn on your phone and you have your Wi-Fi on and then you put on your computer, your phone turns it off, same deal. So it's for one device per code. And you will get the swag as if you went to conference, if you watch virtually. So that's fun. All right, so that was huge. Other, I think, really huge news is... As of March 1st, or sooner, but March 1st for sure, we will now be accepting cryptocurrency. Right? And he's like, what? <laughs> I don't even know. Did you know that? No. Nope. She did not know. Ha ha. Look, I wrote it on my notes. I must have had she, my headphones on. When that I know, right? Look, crypto. Yeah. Very excited about that. We will have a lot more information to come next week. You can ask some questions about it if you want. Probably don't know the answer, but feel free. I might. So that is very exciting. Um, Brave, we are expecting to come in tomorrow or Monday, finally, and get the rest of the Brave orders out. So we are just, just right there. I have been, I, so I just started my five-day detox. Today is day three of my five-day detox. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it yet? It doesn't make my stomach hurt. That's my number one. Like, everything's flowing nicely, and I don't have cramps from it. So I'm extremely happy because when I tested before, I took like one. You know what I mean? I didn't have the whole five days worth. So now I'm really excited. Ooh, I skipped that for a second. All right, so you guys know about Siren now. It's very exciting. One thing I didn't tell you is that we've lowered the price. The, where is the bottle? The bottle is slightly smaller. There you go. And the price is now $25 instead of 32. So better deal. Awesome packaging, better mascara, awesome. And we also have another great deal for Valentine's Day, which is our BOGO on Ignite. So with Ignite for Valentine's Day between now and Tuesday at 9 a.m. Monday. But 
Tuesday. Sorry, Tuesday. Tuesday. I, I keep getting the day wrong too. Know, Our Valentine's Day sale is Ignite. And you buy one, you get one free from now until Tuesday at 9 a.m. Just the blush ignite. Yeah, blush ignite. Just that one color. And there we go. Very exciting. So you can get your fluffy, puffy, beautiful Valentine lip going. And one for your significant other if they don't, you know. Men like lip gloss and lip products. Like, it's fine. Okay, call to action. Here's what we would love for you guys to do. We are really excited about doing more with TikTok. And so our call to action for you is to make a TikTok that mentions Tori Bell and post it and then just tag us in it. Or you can write done under this live. But tagging us is great. Are you going to show hers? Oh, yes. We made, a, okay, I'm not in it, but we've had so many, so many amazing, amazing um like great notes about our support group and so many compliments and they do such a good job. And so I was just last week at the most amazing leaders retreat in the history of time, by the way, look, thank these guys in a second, but everybody was just, just over the moon about how great support was. And everybody was saying, I, we don't see them. You know, we would love to see them. And so they made a TikTok for you guys today. Okay, are they not the cutest ever? They are like the nicest group of people. I'm so excited. Okay, two things. One, Brave Founding Affiliate pins. Will Once Brave all ships, we will send out emails to the founding affiliates so that you guys can sign up for your Brave pins. So that was a question we had recently. These are awesome founder pins, super fun. And also, I want to thank everybody who helped in Tennessee with the leadership um, conference that we had there over the weekend. It was amazing. You guys, it was life changing. We have amazing leaders and they are, they're wonderful, wonderful people. They worked so hard. We all learned so much. And I mean, all like I learned a ton. It was, it was just great. And to get to see people and to know them and hug them and and to share, it was amazing. So Julie Kelly, um, Christy Sullivan, Melina Connor, uh, Chelsea, what's Chelsea's last name? Ryan. Ryan, Chelsea. Um, you guys, thank you so much. And if I if I miss somebody who was integral to, so, I mean, everybody helped. Everybody helped. But thank you so very much. It was just an amazing, amazing time. Okay, I think we have some. Do we have time for questions? What time is it? Five o'clock. It's five. Well, okay, maybe two questions. Uh, there's a lot of questions about um, the change in conference, so we're okay. going to update that Tori Bell Conference website. Yes. So on Monday, it should be all updated with the, okay. the new stuff. So in case you didn't hear, Monday we will update the change in conference. Everything will be on the website, so don't worry. It's going to be fine. We'll get that all updated, and we'll go back over it next Thursday, but it'll all be there, so Monday, check the website. Uh, another question, people just wanted clarification. They thought that hit and win was only in the qualifying volume of element sales. Oh, it's everything. No, it's only element. It's You're only right. Element. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I missed that. Yeah. So, so the hit and win this month is all element products. Yes. So 150 element products, you get um, the headband and scrunchie, 250 element products, you get those two things and 2,500 points for our trip to Cancun. Oh, no, we can't, not Cancun. Punta Cana. I cannot wait to go to Punta Cana, you guys. I can't wait. I love that place. Oh. Any other ones that are burning, burning questions? You guys, we want more TikToks. Well, yeah. she's looking. I'm just going to say TikTok, TikTok. Please and tag us. Yep. We would love to share your TikToks. We are all about it. Reels are great too. Like anything like that. Stories, reels, TikToks, but TikToks. People are loving seeing our TikTok to actually get to see Yay. what our support people. That's awesome. Aren't they the best? And we did a bunch of TikToks also at the conference this weekend, the leadership conference, and we will get those posted for you guys too. Maybe we'll show them next week also. Okay. Anything? Anything? Are we out of time? 
Oh, for the for the cancellations for conference, they will get their deposit refund. Oh, it'll take about seven to ten days. Okay, yes. For that credit to hit back to the original form of payment. Yeah. So if you didn't hear that, don't worry. If you paid a deposit for your conference room, um, you'll get it back. It will it will come back on your credit card in about a week. There we go. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend and week, and I will see you next week. Bye.